So this is the Track Kinetic GT and we're just going to run through folding the chair down with or without the wheels on. So we're going to make a start with the wheels on. Uh, so this chair can be loaded directly into an SUV uh, either by lifting or by the help of a hoist. So to start off with we're going to activate the shock absorber and compress that down. We're going to slide the locking and retracting foot plate back in and there's a little piece of elastic that comes out just to secure that. Uh, we're going to unclasp the folding handlebars, pop those down. Uh, then we're going to release the shock absorber which detaches from the back of the chair. The rear wheel will dock in just by the battery box, like that. And there's another piece of elastic here that we use just to keep that securely in place. And then we're just going to fold the armrests back. Just like that. like that. Now, that weighs about 35 kilograms with the battery in. Uh, if you're feeling strong, you can have a go at lifting up yourself. So, it is doable. Um, generally, we would recommend two people or, or a hoist. Uh, so next, we're going to fold this back down. And then we'll just run through Holding the chair down with the wheels off. So it's all very simple to put that together. No, no tools required. So that's back to the beginning. So that is the chair fully upright, uh, ready to use. And so now we're going to fold it down with the wheels off. So slightly different process to start with. The first thing we want to do is remove the wheels. Now to do that, we actually use the jacks at the bottom of the foot plate. Um, but before we can release them, what we're going to do is we're going to activate the shock absorber again, drop that down to raise the foot plate up, which is particularly useful when you're going off road or going downhill. We're going to fold the jacks down so those are now in place. And with those down, we're now going to release the shock absorber and let the chair right itself. Um, what you might notice now is that the wheels are actually off the ground, which makes it much easier to change. So these levers change it from manual to power, so we can put that back into power so they're locked in position. I'm going to go around here and we're just going to do a quarter turn of the connector to release that. And once that's done, Simply a case of pressing in the centre pin and sliding the wheel off. So, pop those down. Same thing on another wheel, already taking the connector off. I'm just going to slide that wheel off. Just a, a pin in the middle, press in to release the axle. Now that's done, we're going to run through a similar process to what we did before. So uh, I'm going to compress the shock absorber down. I'm going to undo the clasp from the folding handlebars, which are an option. Release that, top the back wheel in, make sure that's in place. I'm going to use the elastic again that hooks over the back of the seat to keep it in place whilst it's being transported. Fold the armrest back and then we can just grab the seat and pull that handlebar back. One bit of elastic there. And for now we can just leave the jacks down, uh, it doesn't make an enormous difference. Now that is much, much easier for a single person to lift on their own. Or again, if you need some help, uh, a second person can, can, can help. And these pieces can then be loaded individually into a vehicle or into any storage facility. Um, and the wheels are about nine kilograms each. Um, so nine kilograms for each wheel is 18 kilograms. So you're taking a, a big chunk of the weight off the chair. And if you wanted to, you could actually take the battery out as well, which probably is another four kilograms. So we'll just do that in reverse to show you reassembling the chair. So we're gonna unhook the elastic, pull the, pull the foot plate back out, arm rests fold back over, handlebars, up, get that elastic piece off, shock absorber head fits in there nicely, just 
secure the clasps and the armrests, and then we're ready to put the wheels back on. So we need to make sure that we've got the right wheel. So there's a left and right hand wheel. Right. Just gonna lift the shock absorber back up so the chair's raised. Now we're in a better position to put the wheels back on. So that will just slide in there. Just locate the uh, top pin so that stops the wheel from spinning. Same thing on the other side. And now those are both in, it's just a question of securing the connectors. And again, we need to line the connectors up a half a turn clockwise. It's all we really need. That's the connectors on. Now to get the foot plate up, easiest way, drop the seat back down, hold the jacks back, pop the seat back up. And you're good to go. Uh, if we push the levers back up, that's taken out of power uh, into manual mode, and now we can move the chair, and that can be self-propelled as well. And then we can take the chair away.